It's time to say goodbye to upstate New York. This was a beautiful campground. Now we're leaving for Connecticut where we're shooting an engagement session tonight and then back home to Maryland. That's a lot of driving. I'm gonna miss this weather. Perfect 70, no humidity, just as good as it gets. So you're absolutely sure you're not taking my your I'm pretty sure. I think two German Shepherds is enough. Okay, if you change your mind, you know how to find us. We'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> Wait, let me try. The dog is in the mail, right? <laughs> They're so different personalities. Whisper and Blueberry. It's like he pull it and he just wants to sleep. Relax. Ended up leaving the campground about two hours later than originally planned. That's a little scary. The original plan had a lot of extra time built in because Airstream travel is always a little longer than regular car travel. So what we're gonna do now is we found another campground that's um, somewhat closer to our location. We'll leave the Airstream there and drive the rest of the way to the engagement session location without the Airstream. So that will now speed us up and this way the shoot can still happen. Did I get this right, Blani? The campground we picked did not work out. The, the only site they had available was super difficult to park in and muddy. The whole operation of um, parking and unhooking the trailer would take way too long. We didn't have enough time. Um, we decided to take the Airstream to the engagement session location, which is in Darien, Connecticut. A lot of driving, but we can still make it on time and that's the most important right now. We're not going to disappoint our clients, who are also my cousin. This has been a pretty hectic day so far, although we're on the road all the time, simply fighting against time. But I believe the end of this day will be very nice. By the way guys, the pink revolution we started is spreading. Uh, friends are dyeing their hair in order to support Lonnie's cancer fight. Look what, look at the video just sent to us by Karen from Colorado. So I have never dyed my hair before, but I am sitting here in this very cute little salon where I get my hair cut. It's 8.30 in the morning. I just got out of bed, which you can probably tell. And um, I'm gonna be dyeing it pink today in support of Blonnie. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm videoing you. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Here's the pink that is gonna be going into my hair in just a few moments. Woohoo! <laughs> Just sit and wait while the color does its thing. I'm eating a bagel. They told me I can't move too much. They told me not to move my head, so I'm just sitting very still. People keep coming over to take pictures. Like two people have taken pictures so far, and everyone keeps coming over to say how cool my hair, the pink hair is, which is crazy for me because I never am the one with the coolest hair ever. So it's kind of insane. Thank you. I love it too. Oh my gosh, I love this hair. Look at this hair. And she's the one who did it all. Hi. <laughs> so I just left the salon. I totally love my pink hair. Super excited about it. 
I cannot wait to climb a mountain next week. All right, I've tried this like five times now and it's starting to sound ridiculous. So I'm just gonna say, I love you, Blonnie. Pink hair, I can't wait to see you again soon. You should definitely come to Colorado. We'll park your Airstream in my driveway. One of Blonnie's best friends. Thank you for joining, Karen. Who's next? We're Me. waiting. Me. You're next? Yeah. When are you doing yours? Tomorrow. Okay, I can't wait to see. Madness happening here. Everybody merging, going cross lane, not caring about anything. I don't like this. Tappan Zee Bridge. There was an accident on that bridge only two days ago, or was it even yesterday? There has been a crane collapse, a construction crane collapse at the Tappan Zee Bridge. There is the scene of the accident, the arm, the boom of that crane, all lanes of the bridge. And I just take a look at these delays going back. My understanding is they're expanding or adding or building another bridge along the old part of this bridge. We have to go through it. We have no other choice. You can, you can see it there, it's all crampled. Looks like there's something hanging off this crane that isn't supposed to be quite like that. So there's a lot of things that went wrong here. There's the broken crane. There's three lanes open on the bridge, so it's not, not bad at all. Last time I was going through this bridge was for Pamela and Asif's wedding in episode number 10, I believe. No dogs permitted. Don't say anything. Oh gosh. Oh. Am I getting married? Because I love her. That's that's, that's a good sweet. answer. That's that's special, right nah, there. Nah, because there's no one. I'd, <laughs> there's no one else I'd want to spend the rest of my life with. Plus, I cook. She cooks. I cook really well. Really two well. two golden awards for those for those two answers. <laughs> he just loves those me. Those are good answers. <laughs> That was honestly a really cool engagement session. Everything worked out perfectly. We got there just in time for the best light of the day. The location turned out to be awesome, even though we just picked it out of Google and a few images we saw online. And most of all, the couple, just super easy going and beautiful and perfect to work with. Now it's time for dinner. Haven't eaten since 11 a.m. Everybody's starving and then we have to decide whether we're staying here for the night or driving home tonight. This crazy day ends at 4 a.m. We made it all the way back home from Connecticut. The girls were asleep all the way back here. I was driving, now it's my turn to sleep. I'm not sure when I'm getting up tomorrow. Probably not in the morning to edit yesterday's episode. Whenever this is posted, I'll see you guys then. talking.